Some breaking news that's coming in right now on the broadcast in connection to IS officer Pooja Khedkar or should I say the ex-IS officer Pooja Khedkar. It's time up for the fraud IS officer as the UPSC has cancelled Pooja's provisional candidature. This is a big news now. UPSC finally acting tough. Pooja's provisional candidature has been cancelled. Pooja has been barred from future examinations and also selections. UPSC has now given out a clarification for this move. The UPSC has now said that Pooja availed multiple exam attempts fraudulently. Now, the UPSC has further added that they will strengthen the standard operating protocols in the future. And Pooja, in fact, did fake her identity and also changed her name. This is what the UPSC has now officially stated. UPSC further adds that the notice was issued, but Pooja failed to respond to it. And again, data of the past 15 years was reviewed and there was no other violation. Also, UPSC has now clarified that it is not responsible for the certification verification. Verification, the UPSC says, is de by designated authorities. My colleague Abhishek joins us on the broadcast to get us more details on this. Abhishek, it's time up now for Pooja Khedkar. Multiple allegations coming to the fore legally also. Her family had also been challenged. But now the UPSC has come out, given a clarification that yes, Pooja Khedkar did in fact avail multiple attempts by fraud. She changed her name. She did everything that she could to ensure that she cheated the system and also got benefits that she did not deserve. Coming from the UPSC front that, you know, finally the uh, provisional candidature of Pooja Khedkar uh, of uh, the uh, civil services exam 2022 has been cancelled and moreover, it has also been said that she cannot uh, participate in further examinations and she has been debarred from doing it uh, for further examination as well as any selection further. In, most important to note out here is the uh, a so cause notice was issued to her and she should have to comply by 25th of July. She asked for further extension till 4th of August but UPSC gave only till 30th of July and after 30th of July there was no response from her side and that's the reason this important decision has been taken. In fact, the UPC from their own record have identified and verified that she has fraudulently uh, taken multiple attempts, you know, in this examination, which is against the civil services rules. And that's the reason this big action has been initiated against her. Moreover, it also come out and clarifies uh, and state that, you know, from the past 15 years, they have checked, cross-checked the record of... Uh, 15,000 candidates also, you know, who have been recommended by them. And moreover, as far as those fake certificates are concerned, UPSC clearly points out that they believe those certificates that come to them from the competent authority, they are not completely, you know, accountable for those certi certificates. It is the competent authority which needs to be questioned if there are any malfunction or if if there is any irregularities in those Absolutely, Abhishek, like you rightly pointed out, law has finally caught up with Pooja Khedkar. We'll keep coming back to you for more details.